Hey, Newbie Dan here, and this is a Newbie Tooltip about Forstner bits. Newbie Tooltips are short videos that highlight specific tools or techniques. They're not intended to be in-depth reviews or tutorials, and they're not sponsored by anyone. This is a Forstner bit. This is a hole saw. And both types of bits can cut large holes. Forstner bits are usually more expensive than hole saws, but in general they cut a cleaner hole, and I think they're a lot easier to use, especially with a handheld drill. For a long time, anytime I wanted to drill a large hole, I used a hole saw. Over the years, I've managed to grow quite a collection. Then I bought a set of Forstner bits ranging up to one inch. So now when I need a hole between a half and one inch, I use a Forstner bit. Any larger and I use hole saws. You can buy larger Forstner bits, of course, but they start to get pricey very quickly. I'll talk more about hole saws in another video, and I'll post a link to that video in the description of this video when it's done. Forstner bits have a centering spur like this. The spur helps you align the bit in the center of the target. It also plays a part in helping to keep the bit centered while drilling. Forstner bits have a couple of blades across the middle called chippers. And, as the name implies, they chip out the wood in the middle of the hole. The cutting edges shear the wood at the edge of the hole, which is why Forstner bits can produce such clean holes. Cutting edges also play a part in helping to keep the bit centered while drilling. The cutting edge of this particular bit is called a knife edge. It's great for drilling 90 degree holes, of course, but it's also good for drilling holes at an angle, as well as drilling overlapping holes. I'll cover those shortly. The downside of a knife edge is that it can generate a lot of friction, so it's especially important to use low RPMs when using this kind of edge. More on this in a moment also. This is a sawtooth edge, which, as the name implies, has teeth like a saw. This type of edge produces less friction, so it's good for larger diameter holes. It also cuts faster than knife edges. However, sawtooth edges can sometimes cut a more ragged hole than knife edges. Also, they don't work as well in overlapping holes and holes at an angle compared to a knife edge. This is called a wavy edge, and to be honest, I'm not sure of its pluses and minuses. Hey, you get what you pay for in this channel. You can use Forstner bits in a handheld drill or a drill press. They're somewhat easier to use in a drill press because they require more pressure to cut through the wood than ordinary drill bits do. Forstner bits drill nice, clean holes. When using them on a drill press, always make sure you pay attention to the recommended RPMs for each bit, or else you can easily burn the wood and the bit. Trust me, I know. When in doubt, use low RPMs. If you're using a drill press, make sure you back out a lot to keep the temperature down. If you're using a handheld drill, start and stop a lot to keep the temperature down. Forstner bits can create serious tear-out if you drill all the way through the wood. So if you're planning on drilling all the way through, always clamp your stock to a backing board. So why wouldn't you want to drill all the way through? Because Forstner bits create holes with nice flat bottoms, which are perfect for creating things like counterboard holes. For more information, see my video on counterbores and carriage bolts. There's a link in the description below. Forstner bits are great at drilling all sorts of overlapping holes, like hanging off the end, drilling over a portion of an existing hole. You can string them together to cut out a channel. You don't even have to have the centering spur be in the wood. Forstner bits can even drill holes at an angle. Although I have to admit, this is the first time I've ever done it. So that probably means I should stop here so I don't hurt myself while shooting this video. As I said at the start, Forstner bits aren't cheap. But they are versatile, and in my opinion, they're easier and safer to use than hole saws. So I think they're worth having around. Check out the description for links to products seen in this video. Just scroll down, click Show More, and scroll down until you see the links. And if you like what I do here, click that subscribe button, and don't forget to ring that bell to get notified about new videos. Thanks!